what you are looking at uh, is the muscles on the forearm and the three main muscles that we're going to talk about are the forearm flexors so most muscles that move the radius and ulna are actually the muscles of the forearm they cause extension or flexion at the elbow so the main muscles that are flexors meaning they reduce the angle at a joint are the first one is brachialis this teeny tiny muscle on the side is brachialis and then this one on the bottom is brachioradialis and then a major muscle on top that you usually see when you have well built muscles of the arms so when you flex your arm you see the biceps brachii muscle and you see the belly of the muscle exteriorly okay so the first muscle we're going to look at is the bicep brachii muscle. The bicep brachii muscle, as you can see, is made up of a long head and a short head of a muscle. The long head originates from the tubercle above the glenoid cavity and it inserts on the radial tuberosity of the radius and the short head originates from the coracoid process of the scapula and it also inserts at the radial tuberosity of, of the radius okay this this muscle is called bicep bi means two sep means head because they have two heads or origin it is called the biceps brachii muscle so this muscle uh, spans both the shoulder and the elbow joint but if you observe it attaches at the um, what is this a glenoid cavity the supraglenoid tubercle above the glenoid cavity and the coracoid uh, process but it inserts all the way at the radial tuberosity so this muscle does not attach anywhere on the humerus and as you can see one of its major functions is to flex the forearm at the elbow joint and it flexes the arm at the shoulder joint as well okay the other function of biceps brachii muscle is to supinate the forearm supination means the palm looking up okay palm facing up is known as supination so the two function uh, for biceps brachii is to flex the forearm at the elbow and the shoulder and it also supinates the forearm at the radio ulnar uh, joint okay the next muscle that you're looking at is the isolated brachialis muscle the brachialis muscle originates um, anteriorly on the surface of the humerus okay so it originates at the distal anterior surface of the humerus and inserts itself on the ulnar tuberosity and the coronoid process of the ulna the muscle is a synergist to biceps brachii so the function of this muscle is to flex the forearm at the elbow joint so if you observe the location of the muscle it's hard to see if you're not careful so the brachialis is a deep muscle um, and it is the most powerful flexor of the forearm so it's basically the workhorse of the elbow flexion and then the last muscle in here is the brachioradialis the brachioradialis the brachioradialis muscle originates at the lateral border at the distal end of the humerus so if you isolate this muscle and turn it around you can see this is a lateral view and it originates at the lateral border of the distal end of the humerus and it inserts itself right over here 
above the styloid process of the radius. So the insertion is the superior uh, styloid process of the radius, okay, superior to the styloid process of the radius. The function of this muscle is to flex the forearm at the elbow joint. It also functions in supination and pronation of the forearm at the radio ulnar joint. So the three muscles, a quick revision. The first muscle over here is the bicep brachii. The bicep brachii is a large muscle anteriorly located on the arm. And as the name suggests, it has two heads or, or two origins. One is the long head and this other one is the short head. And both originate from the scapula and insert into the radial tuberosity. So they completely bypass the humerus. And the main function of the bicep brachii is to flex the forearm at the elbow and flex the shoulder joint and one of the other main functions is to supinate the forearm the next muscle in here is the brachio brachialis brachialis is a deep muscle to the biceps brachii muscle and it is the most uh, powerful flexor at the elbow okay and this last muscle in here is brachioradialis and as you see the muscle moving brachioradialis is another muscle that flexes the forearm at the elbow this brachioradialis muscle is mostly used when you need a quick movement or when a weight needs to be lifted slowly during flexion this is the muscle that is used